prepare an SD card. Download the two files as instructed earlier and you will need an SD card, a computer, and an SD card reader. Place your SD card into your SD card reader. Your computer should give you a message saying removable, removable disk. Open the folder to view the files inside. I have files already on this SD card, so I'll create a folder on my desktop called SD. And from here, I'll copy all the files to the folder named SD, as all files on the SD card will be erased. So we're going to go back to Computer and right click on Removal the Disk and Format it. Formatting will make this process go smoother. Without formatting, it can cause problems. It'll give you a warning. You just have to click OK. It will erase everything on your SD card. It's finished formatting. So then we will extract the two zip files. We will click Extract All. Right click, Extract All, and Extract. Now it is working to extract them. Now we'll extract the second zip file using the same process. Right click extract all and extract. So now we will older the first folder called Wii Soft Mod and navigate to the folder that says Step 1, Hack Me. We will move this window to the side and open up our SD card. And in our SD card that is blank, we will copy all these files and move them over should go very quickly as it is a very small set of files. And then we can close both this windows, go back, select it, and eject. You are now ready to move on to, to your Wii. First, start it up and press A as you normally would. Make sure you already have your LEGO Indiana Jones game disc inserted. Then we are going to take the SD card that we prepared already and we are going to insert it into the Wii. The Wii should recognize the SD card. And then we will go into the Wii options, data management, save data, we and we'll locate the game save for Lego Indiana Jones and delete it from the Wii. Then we will navigate to the SD card that has already been prepared. This one has an additional save file hack for USA version ways. And we'll just copy this over. Hit yes, and it'll copy. Oh, and just for verification.
This was done under version 4.3. So this is compatible with all menu versions. So now we're going to go and load up Lego Indiana Jones. It's not necessary to use a nunchuck. Then we'll press plus to start and we'll hit load game. It is game one and it should still show zero percent. And we want to load this. Now we are going to navigate our way to the art room, which is through the courtyard. At the end of the courtyard, there is a door. We will go to this first person with the gun and you can see in the corner it says Indiana Pones. And we will go here to the staggered silhouette and homebrew will load. And s hit A and here we go. Now we are waiting. This is the scam warning for the homebrew channel. It usually loads up within 30 seconds. Then we will press 1 on the Wii Remote to continue with this. And it will tell us whether or not this can be installed. In most part, it can be installed. The calculations for your serial number show that everything can be installed. So first we're going to go here to install the homebrew channel and you're going to click yes continue. I already have it installed so I'm not going to do it. Then we're going to go down to here to boot me. And we're going to click prepare an SD card. And we're going to click yes continue and it'll write some files and then we will go up to the first one install boot me as boot 2 this is very important hit it and click yes continue I already have it installed so I will not be installing it and we will go here and install boot me as an iOS this is also important and you will click yes continue but I already have this installed as well, so I'll not install it. And once everything has been installed, we'll return to the main menu and we'll hit exit. Then it'll load up the homebrew channel. And this is what the homebrew channel looks like. Now we are finished with this step. 